All right, so the app I'm using here is called Amaziograph, and it has so many cool options you can choose from, like symmetry tools and stuff. So we're gonna start off with the mandala here. Yeah, these are all of my pieces that I've done. My kids have played with it, played with it too. So let's go ahead and tap on the mandala right here. And your grid should look like this. The next thing we're gonna do is choose our brush. There's not very many brush options as Procreate, but we're gonna make it work. So go ahead and tap on the brush here and you'll it'll bring this brush studio up here. Now the only the, the only thing I'm gonna mess with is the smoothness. I'm gonna bring that all the way up. It's kind of like streamline and procreate, but in a graph. And the react to pressure, we're gonna leave that on as well. If yours isn't on, go ahead and tap it, that way it's highlighted. And then up here where it says 10, I'm gonna bring this down to about a, let's do a four. I'm gonna zoom in just a tad bit here. Actually, no, I'm not. We're all gonna work together on this. So, first thing you wanna do, start about three fourths the way in. Do a little raindrop or something, whatever. Whatever you wanna draw. Let's go ahead and do another one up here. Another one. Unlimited possibilities, you all. And I tapped on the eraser right here. I'll bring that down just a tad bit. That's just to make the edges more sharp. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. And this back arrow right here, that just erases it pretty much. All right, let's go back to our brush. So what I'm doing here is adding a little pressure. The more pressure you add, the thicker the line becomes. It's like um, when I do my calligraphy and stuff. Let's see. Just kind of do your own thing. Do a heart right here. Do another one. Just keep it going with the hearts here. Last one. Let's go ahead and erase this. Actually, no, let's go ahead and keep that. It should be okay. All right, now this little window right here, we're gonna tap this. We're gonna do the rotation this time. Let's go ahead and tap on the rotation. And we're gonna change the grid setting here. So we'll just tap on this green icon up here you will see symmetry adjustments down at the very bottom I'm gonna bring that up to let's do a 12 change our brush tap on your brush here bring the smoothness all the way up and then react to pressure make sure that's on all right we are good to go I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here change our brush setting or brush size down to a, let's do a four. I'm gonna draw a simple little flower here. And 
And then from the middle of this, I'm just gonna go up, kind of curve it out at the top. Start from the top, kind of curve down. Simple sunflower. Sticking up here. If you want, you can add circles in here. And my palm is resting on the screen too, so it's not affecting it at all. Pretty simple stuff, you all. But yeah, this can be intimidating. Like when you first start something new. Because it looks like a lot of stuff, you know? But I'm trying my best here to show you step by step what I do. Let's go back here. Let's go back to the flower here. Let's open up a new one. Let's do the hexagons and rotation. Go ahead and change our brush here. Not change the brush, but let's fix it up a little bit. So yeah, the only thing I mainly mess with is the smoothness. I bring that all the way up. I'm gonna bring the brush size down. Let's do a three. And you can see the little circle right here. Some of them, some of the uh, centers don't have them. So we're gonna start with the ones that do. I'll draw a circle around that one. All right, and we're gonna draw a flower like we did on the last one. Gonna add another one here. Oh, nope, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and do a simple little outline. If you want to, you can also color fill this. So what we're gonna do is, there's a little uh, paint can up here. And once that's tapped, you can tap in the, between these lines here, it'll fill that all the way in. Pretty cool stuff. There's so many symmetry options to choose from like procreate has more brushes to choose from but this app has more symmetry symmetry options so these are a few of my pieces here Yeah, if y'all have any questions or comments or requests for future videos about anything, please let me know in the comments below. I hope this video helped. And I'm going to go on live and write some names in Procreate. It's one of my favorite ones to use too. This is what I drew last night. Take it away, take it away. And then I do have a tutorial on this as well. I'm gonna write a quick thank you here. See, I love using both these apps. They're both my favorite. And um, Amazio Graph is for Android, I believe. It's also for Android. And then Procreate is only for Apple products. There's so much to do in here. Simple stuff like this.